Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us for today's webinar on Oversee Pro. My name is Heidi Nilsson. I'm a marketing manager at SNAP AV and I'll be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we get started, let's go through a few quick housekeeping items. First, we will be recording this presentation and we'll be sending you a copy by email within the next few business days. That email will also include a promo code for 50% off your next Oversee Pro purchase, so definitely be watching for that. And lastly, we are planning to have time at the end of the presentation for a Q&A session, but we'll also be answering questions as they come in, so please submit those at any time during the presentation. You can do that using the question and answer feature in the webinar control panel. All right, and now I'll turn it over to today's presenter, Kenny Kim. Hey everyone, this is Kenny. Um, I'm the product manager for Oversee. Um, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join us. I'm really excited to share with you uh, what we've done. Uh, we've been building Oversee Pro for the last year, um, and we announced it at Cedia um, and if you were there, you got a preview of what that was. Um, so I'll share that with you today. Um, instead of waiting all the way to the end to show you all the things that we've been working on, uh, like many other webinars, we wanted to show you a sneak peek up front. Um, Oversee Pro is a premium suite of services that we've added as an extension to Oversee um, that you're using today. Um, and it includes some of these things that you're seeing in front of you. Um, I'll go through a full demo of, of this Oversee Pro service uh, in, this, uh, in this webinar. Um, again, so my name is Kenny Kim, the Product Manager for Oversee. Um, I've met some of you already. Um, I've been with Snap AV for about a year and a half. Uh, my responsibilities include uh, building the strategy and the roadmap for Oversee. Um, prior to this uh, being with SNAP, I was with AT&T for about seven years. And the last three years of which I uh, helped them uh, launch uh, AT&T Digital Life, which is a home security and automation service assisted by AT&T. Uh, learned quite a bit about home automation and the products that go into a home and the security systems associated with it. Um, so glad to be here. Um, it's been a really exciting um, already with SNAP AV. In the agenda for today's webinar, first I'm going to go through a quick overview of Oversee. Where we have come from, uh, it's only been a two-year-old platform, so I'll take you through um, all the things that we've done. That will be a very quick overview. Um, second, we'll dive uh, right into what Oversee Pro is, our evolution from Oversee to Oversee Pro, uh, what that consider, consisted of, and the last, I'll go through a live demonstration of the full platform capabilities. Um, and towards the end, I want to leave plenty of time for Q&A, as you might have many uh, throughout this webinar. So Oversee is a remote monitoring and management platform. Uh, it's a platform that we built, developed in-house, um, and made available to our customers, and it's a free service today. Um, it allows uh, our integrators that purchase our products, like the Wapbox, Arachnus, Luma Surveillance, any connected products they purchase, we give them the ability to remotely monitor and manage it. Um, it's an embedded solution, which also means that we built the firmware into the products so that as soon as you plug it into any internet network, it automatically starts talking to back to our cloud. And as long as you claim it into a certain location of your customer, uh, you can then manage it. There's no port forwarding or no VPN setup uh, required to do any of that. Uh, we started with just Wapbox, that was in 2014, and today we support over 80 plus SKUs, and we're continuing to add um, any new connected product that we're launching within Snap Baby, we're going to enable with Oversee. When we enable a product on Oversee, the key features include things like proactive notifications if there's anything wrong with the product, uh, give you the ability to reset the device, update firmware, uh, change the configuration and access the local UI. All these things that we make available out of the gate, and then we continue to add device-specific features. So, for example, on the web, um, we give you a graph of all the bandwidth uh, consumed for each of the radios uh, so that you have an understanding of the traffic that's going through the web. Um, and we're doing that on a monthly basis. We're continuing to build new features and adding more um, premium capabilities to our products over time. And it's currently supported on all types of platforms, mobile as well as desktop. 
So we've seen tremendous growth. The numbers you're seeing in front of you, um, it's not an accumulative number. Um, it is uh, by month. So the black line represents all of the devices uh, included that we added uh, each month in the last few years. So if you look at August 2016, uh, we added about over 16,000 devices to our platform. Um, that consists of Arachnus, Wattbox, and Luma, as you can see the, the three different colored uh, lines right underneath it. Um, so we've been really exploding in the growth of devices that we have on our platform. <clears throat> um, today we have about five to 6,000 dealers um, managing over 190,000 devices at 60,000 locations. Um, and I mentioned this because um, I want you guys to understand that this is a, a really scalable technology that we architected in the beginning um, to be scalable and grow with your business. Uh, it, this is a huge investment by SNAP, but we are actually accelerating our investment because we recognize how important remote management is to our dealers, uh, especially post-install support. So we're continuing to accelerate, and then I'll tell you about a few of the investments that we're making later in this, the presentation. Um, however, those numbers that you just saw uh, in the previous slide is a good story for SNAP AV. But we took a step back about a year ago and put our shoe, uh, put ourselves in your shoes and try to see if Oversee is a complete solution for you to service clients um, after the install. And we recognized that it wasn't. It wasn't because in order for a customer to have a great experience at their home, um, all the things that um, the service providers, the services coming into the home, the Snap AV products that you've installed, as well as the non-SNAP AV products at that location all need to work seamlessly together uh, for the customer to have a great experience. Um, and we were only giving you one of those three pieces. So that's, this is the genesis of Oversee Pro and how we started on the journey. We also looked um, and did some research uh, around what's going on in the industry. Um, as we are all, all aware, uh, there's a growing number of devices on the network. I don't think it's unrealistic to think that uh, 50 or over 100 uh, plus connected devices are in each customer's home today, and that's only growing. Um, there's a much heavier reliance on the network for all types of services, including security, entertainment. Um, I just came back from a conference a few months ago <clears throat> where they spoke about there's a 30% penetration into US households around IP video services. So that includes things like Hulu, Netflix, and those type of services. And there's over 100 uh, video, IP video service providers out there in the US, and it's only growing. Uh, we're all also aware of the internet speeds and bandwidth that's exploding. So you got gigabit speeds with AT&T, uh, Google Fiber, and Comcast, and all these other services. Um, and all of this also um, there's a lot of IP devices out there that require regular maintenance, and it's a little bit different than the static devices that we've all installed in the past. Um, these IP devices require regular updates, uh, regular configuration changes to stay up to date with the latest in technology. On the right side is also an interesting survey that we did with our um, integrators. We asked the question, um, on the service calls that they uh, received, what are the top um, most frequent issues that you get um, if you had to categorize them? And the top two are very interesting. It's issues related to third-party products that the dealers didn't install, or it's the issues out of the dealer's control, such as ISP and power outages. Um, and that was interesting to us to see that, hey, um, the dealers need a little bit more than just access to the uh, things that they've installed themselves. So this is uh, yet another data point for us to um, build Oversee Pro. The result of all this data that we collected is there's more complex issues and more frequent post-install support calls that you guys are dealing with today. And this is only growing. So this is a, a pretty critical importance to, to our dealers. We also spent some time interviewing dealers around the pain points around providing services to their clients, as well as ask the dealers, um, what about your clients? What kind of pain points do they have around services? From a dealer perspective, it was really around visibility. There's a lot of things that are happening in the home that they have no visibility uh, and transparency into. And after installing a, a really expensive system, when a client calls with an issue and they don't know what's going on, um, the dealer looks incompetent. Um, it's not necessarily the fault of the dealer, but they just don't have the right tools sometimes. Um, 
The other problem that we've heard very frequently is the number of calls were increasing and it's starting to uh, budge in into the life of the dealer um, after hours and on weekends. Um, from a client perspective, it was funny we heard this adjective a few times. The dealer's client said they feel powerless because the only thing they can really do when they run into an issue, small or large, is to call the integrator. Um, and that was sometimes frustrating because they can't always get a hold of the integrator. And even if they do, um, it might not, they might not be available right at that time to roll out a truck. So they're stuck really until the integrator uh, could get back to them or uh, roll out a truck to visit them. So all these issues we took into consideration in building Oversea Pro. So this is a slide that you saw a few slides ago. Um, and this is the, where we were a few months back. But with launch of Oversea Pro, we really focus on three different things. One, expanding overseas visibility so that now you have visibility into uh, service providers' performance coming into the home. We then expanded the visibility of overseas for you to monitor and manage and access uh, non-SNAP AV products, IP devices on that network. And the third piece was uh, we wanted to create an extension of Oversea called Oversea Home that you can now customize and give to your individual clients based on their needs. <clears throat> so Oversea Pro um, is a SKU, Oversea-200-Pro, -pro, is a SKU that you can purchase on our website. Um, it's this box you see in front of you. It also it includes a, a little box on the left called Oversea Hub. It's a network appliance that once you install in the location, scans everything on that network, provides information back so that you can monitor uh, non-SNAP AV products. Um, and we also include a number of other things. So I'm going to jump straight into the demonstration. So today, when you log into Oversee, uh, you get the list of customers that you have access to. I'm going to jump into a customer today that doesn't have Oversee Pro, so this is Alice Smith customer. When you click Alice Smith today, uh, you get the list of all the Snap AV products installed at that location, and you can go into each one of those devices in order to manage it. Now, um, as you'll see, and this was enabled at um, Cedia uh, a week, uh, two weeks back, um, you have a new tab for each of these locations called Enable Oversee Pro. Once you click this Enable Oversee Pro, it gives you a field where you can um, enter the activation code. There's a 25-digit activation code that is included in each Oversee Pro box. Um, so, as I mentioned, it includes a hub that enables some of these features, and it includes a 25 um, character activation code. This activation code enables the premium features at this location for two years uh, once you activate it. And this is the way you do it. Once you enable a customer with Oversea Pro, your default view now changes. Um, instead of going directly into the device list view, what you get is a dashboard. In this dashboard view, um, our goal is to summarize the entire network in a single view so that you don't have to jump from device to device to figure out what's going on on that network. On the top left, you get the number of online and offline devices. Um, on the right here, um, <clears throat> you have the list of firmware updates available at that location for Snap AV products. Uh, we highlight it in bright orange so you don't miss it. We give you the ability to run speed tests, and you can do that manually, or you can run it on a schedule every hour, eight hours, or 24 hours. Once you run um, the speed test on a schedule, we graph it uh, over the time frame for you. This is an interactive graph where, let's say, let's go back a full month. Um, the blue line is the download, and the black line is the upload. So you can see over time that this had relatively good performance. Um, you can do it on a more granular level, so if you do it every hour, you'll see a little bit more spikes here and there. Uh, that might be better for troubleshooting for a short period of time uh, with your clients. <clears throat> now, the internet speed test gives you the ability to monitor the performance of the internet coming into the, to the house. Uh, we've included uh, another test called a LAN test. 
the land test does is it gives you the ability to monitor the performance of the con connection inside the home. So if you click the ping devices, the hub is scanning and pinging every single device on the network and updating its ping status. <coughs> and uh, what you're looking for here is a deterioration of ping over time to certain devices um, as it indicates an issue with either the connection um, of the devices or um, the devices that are sitting between devices. So it gives you a little bit more information for you to troubleshoot. Now this feature that I'm going to show you is called wireless setup. This isn't only a pro feature, but I wanted to highlight in this section. Um, previously, uh, when you wanted to set up an SSID at a certain location and you had multiple access points, you have to go through each one and set up an SSID and go to the next one and try to um, spell the exact same way and do that multiple times for each number of access points. Well, we thought that was a little bit difficult and that's the feedback that we got. Um, so what we did was we give you a way to um, build a network once and propagate it across multiple access points at a location. So you can click any number of access points at that location and just uh, click save to propagate it. Uh, we're building features like this across a location to make your uh, installation and servicing uh, uh, you know, steps easier. Now going down on um, the location dashboard, um, you see two different tables. The first table is the same exact table that you see in Arachnus Router Details page. Uh, it's a DHCP client list. Um, this is shows all the DHCP clients at that location. Now we've added things like being able to sort across any of these columns. And um, of course you still have the same capability as you would do on the Arachnus Router page where you can um, reserve an IP address just by the click of a button. And down here, the wireless client list. So this is a pulling in, uh, if you have multiple access points at that location, each access point has its own wireless client table. Um, and when you're trying to troubleshoot a wireless device connected to an access point, you have to figure out which access point it's sitting behind. So we thought that was a little bit tedious for you to do. So we combined all those tables of all these, each access point and combined it into a single table so you don't have to jump around. So for example, if I want to look at this um, Apple device um, on Priyanka's, um, I can click this access point and it would jump straight me, uh, jump me straight into that device for me to start troubleshooting right away. Now going into the devices view, so previously, if you don't have Oversea Pro, you'll see this list of uh, Snap AV products um, and our affiliate products uh, that you can manage. Now, in a Pro location, you also installed Oversea Hub. And with Oversea Hub, you can scan for all the other um, IP devices on that network. So all these devices with this um, type of icon are third-party products at that location the Hub is scanning for monitoring and providing information back to your Oversea dashboard so you can manage it. So what type of information does it pull? So when it scans, and uh, let's look at this, um, this Amazon Fire, the first thing is um, it pulls in the MAC address and the IP address. Using the MAC address, uh, we're looking up the manufacturer table, so uh, we know that this is an Amazon device. Um, and once you identify which device it is, you can name it so that uh, when you refer back to it, you know which device it is. Uh, if device, this device is something that needs to be constantly on and is something that um, is critical to your service, providing service to your client, um, you can enable notifications. So if it falls offline, if this Amazon Fire falls offline, you'll get a notification like any other Snap AV product. Um, you can also ping this device uh, individually in real time to get a real uh, time ping status. Now, if the device that the hub found has a local user interface, which most networking products do, um, so I have a package device here, um, we scan for the different ports and provide that as a button for you. You don't have to add any new ports, we're doing that for you in the back end. So, if it has a, thir um, a local UI, we enable this button called Web Connect. So I'm going to click this package as WebConnect. 
And if you're local, obviously it brings up the IP address uh, of that device. Uh, if you're remote, which I am here, uh, what this is doing by clicking this button is the hub is building a secure SSH tunnel directly into that device's local UI. So this is the local UI of that package device. Um, as you can see up here on the top left, the URL is a URL to our cloud. So which means that uh, we can give you secure access to any local UI of a, a device on the network remotely. So you can access it from your mobile device or your desktop, uh, wherever you are. Um, what, what's also included in uh, ORC Pro is we're starting to build drivers for control systems. We recognize that there's some devices on the network that you need a little bit more deeper and richer information than just IP address, MAC address, and whether it falls on and offline. Uh, control systems are the first ones that we're going after uh, where we think that you need a richer information. So we're, we're building drivers that allow control systems to talk back to Oversee uh, like any other Snap AV products. So for example, let me go to this MRX20. So this MRX20 has been loaded on with the driver that we built um, and it's communicating to our cloud. Uh, it's reporting back on its status, CPU usage, memory usage, uh, IP information, time settings. Uh, if it falls on and offline, you'll get notified like any other Snap AV product. Um, you get an activity list of when uh, historically it fell offline and came back online. You can also reboot it. And this isn't a hard reboot. This is a soft reboot directly to the processor. Uh, so this is the beginning. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys might be aware of a company named House Logix. Um, and for those who, who, who don't know what uh, that team is, House Logix is the leading experts in our space that build control system drivers um, across many different control systems. Um, to communicate and interact with third-party products. Um, so one of the first things that House Logix built, um, uh, one of the drivers, for example, is like the Chamberlain Garage Door Controller, talking to a control force system. So House Logix team is the leading experts in this space. Um, and as Snap AV, as we embed, uh, embarked on this journey on Oversea Pro, we want to expand Overseas ecosystem to um, be able to interact much deeply with other third-party products so that you have a single dashboard to manage everything on that customer's network. So we actually acquired House Logics a few months back and they're part of our team and they moved down to Charlotte here with us. Um, and the, one of the first projects that they did is they built the Control 4 driver to talk to uh, our cloud as well, just like you see for this URC controller in front of you. So um, their task moving forward is to continue to build deeper integration into the control systems. Uh, what I just showed you is very simplistic, but going even deeper to see things like safety devices and other uh, things um, through that control system. Now, to be completely transparent, everything that I showed you so far are very similar things that our competitors also have. Some of you might be using systems like Ahiji, Demotes, Krika, um, it's very similar capabilities, um, but we think all these things that I just showed you are kind of minimum capabilities that you need to provide remote management services to your customers. However, we did some things different that I think will be extremely valuable to you. When we started this project in the beginning, um, we asked our uh, uh, dealers, what is the biggest challenge you have with providing remote services to your clients? Um, and what they said was that it wasn't necessarily about the tools. There are a number of tools out there. But what's mu the biggest challenge is the ability to sell through to the co consumer um, and be able to communicate the value that they're providing so that the consumers are willing to pay the monthly fees associated with their service. So we asked them, what are the things that you would need to be successful in doing that? And um, we've heard from a lot of dealers, I need something tangible. I need something that's valuable on day one that I can hand over to the clients. Um, so what we worked on is this thing called Oversee Home. And let me pull up my device here. So this is um, this my phone. Just I'm extending it to the screen so you guys could all see it. It's an app called Oversee Home that you can open up. I delete this. I can recreate it. 
And this app is, um, is something that you can customize and extend to each one of your clients based on their individual needs. So if you look at, um, if you click the top left menu bar, uh, you can customize this information. This is your company name, um, the number and email address that you want the um, customers to reach you at. If you click on the phone number, we give you the immediate ability to call right from the phone. Or if you click on any of the other um, contact information, we provide a form where the clients can now reach out to you um, by filling the send and sending. Um, this main page here, you see these four blue icons. These are individual commands that you've created for the customer based on their individual needs. So I'm going to show you an example of how to create some of these commands. So on the right here is, again, your dashboard. This is the integrator's uh, in, um, tool. As you can see, there's a three different tabs. This is a new tab that's included with Oversee Pro. I'm going to add a new command. Uh, you pick the location that you want. I'm going to call this one uh, Reset Roku because Roku uh, is a device that needs to be constantly reset. So I'm going to add um, the Roku, uh, an icon that looks like the Roku. And I'm going to do a drop down, select the device to control. Now, as you can see, any Oversee Enable product can be used to create these commands. If you click a, a PLE switch, which I'll show you in just a second, it uh, looks up each of the port information so you can individually um, uh, reset the ports or you can reset the whole device. Uh, same with the WAP box. So in this case, I'm going to show you the WAP box example. Um, if you click the WAP box, it pulls in all the different outlets that you've already pre-configured at this location. So you can reset the whole device, you can reset all the outlets, uh, which then it triggers the time settings that you set up between the different outlets. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pick the specific outlet associated with Roku. And then the last step is creating a delay for that button. So you don't want the customer to constantly click on a button here that you provided for them. Um, because they didn't see a response back. So you're setting up a delay on that button. So let's say two minutes is probably appropriate. I click Save. And as you can see, the new button showed up on uh, your dashboard. I'm going to refresh the app. Jump in it out. And as it comes up, you'll see the new button created. This app is a little slow. There you go. So the reset Roku button is something you created on the fly for the customer. And once he clicks that button, reset Roku, it asks the, the client, hey, do you really want to do it? It's going to take a few minutes. If the client clicks OK, um, it starts running. And as you can see um, on the right page here, it runs in real time in our background. So the beautiful thing about this is you hit the complexity of everything that um, has to be taken place um, be, behind a network. Uh, what WAP box it's in, which outlet it's sitting behind. And this created an easy button for the customer where now they can fix things on their own uh, if it's inconvenient for them to reach out to you. Um, as you can see, it's grayed out in the check mark box, which means it's been executed, but this is the delay that you set for the customer for that specific command. Um, let me show you an adding an, uh, a new command. Uh, one thing we hear often is sometimes uh, access points lock up. So I'm going to create one called Reset Wi-Fi. I'm going to click an icon that looks like the access point. Um, I'm going to pick, let's see, the switch. Two-turn switch. So there's multiple access points at this location. So I'm going to click all the different access points that are um, PoE powered. So four access points. And then I'm going to click a timeout delay. In this case, I think access points take a little bit longer time to fire back up. So I'm going to click three minutes at the time delay. And I'm going to click Save. And as you can see, it created a new button here, the six button. So I'm going to refresh the app. There you go. You created this new button on the fly. And you can do this from the comfort of your office. Um, same thing. Um, as long as you have the outlets 
on your POA switches and your want box labeled properly, you can create this on the fly for the customer. Um, one of the really exciting things about this is, yes, it's pretty exciting that we have reset capabilities that you now give to your customers, which this would reduce the number of calls that you get on weekends and um, during the night for simple common issues that happen at that location. Um, so that's nice and all. But what we're really excited about is the things that we can do in the future using this platform. Think of Oversee Home as an extension of your sales channel, where you can now sell software services. Um, for example, we own the network. Um, we own all the network components like the router, access points and switches. So we can work on things uh, such as, and we are working on things such as like parental controls. Uh, we have the ability today in our back end to be able to turn off and shut off certain MAC addresses or certain Wi-Fi or certain devices, um, block content and things like that through our networking devices. We want to create services that make sense and is valuable to the consumer that you can sell through. Uh, a good use case of that is, let's say the client wants to turn off Johnny's access to Xbox at uh, you know 9 p.m. every night. Well, you can create that and provide that as a service through Oversee Home. Um, another thing we added here is the ability for you to give um, access to Oversee Home to any number of users at that location. And we think this is important because um, you, it's important that you know who is triggering what and giving access to each individual. So giving in, um, access to individuals are really easy. You can um, create a new name, put their email address, put a temporary password, and you can send a quick invitation which sends them an email with instructions on how to download the application. Uh, and once they log in, they get access to all these buttons that you created for them. Um, if they haven't uh, paid the recurring uh, revenues um, that um, you have with the service contract, you can also pretty easily take away their access to Oversee Home. Now, because you've identified which user is actually using that account, you can also keep track of which user is triggering which command at what time and keep that history, which gives you an indication uh, for potential uh, service opportunity or an educational opportunity for the customer. So this is um, all the different Oversee Pro features. Again, just to clarify, everything in Oversee that you have access to today, which is managing um, Snap AV products, that will remain free to you, and that's not going to change. Um, the extension to Oversee Pro is the ability for you to now have the um, access to the dashboard view, give you the ability to monitor ISV performance, uh, give you to the, a way to monitor control systems as well as third-party products on that network, and the ability for you to give Oversee Home to your clients. That's Oversee Pro. Now let me jump back into the presentation. So I think it's a really important topic that we cover here, um, selling through this through to your clients. Um, Oversee, Oversee Pro, and Oversee Home is really a service enabler that we made uh, for our integrators. You guys were our target customer, um, and we built this so that you can provide better services to your clients. If you turn around and try to sell Oversee Pro to your clients, there's going to be a lot of questions around them understanding what it is, um, and putting a value on what that means for them. I think at the end of the day, we have to answer the question together of what is it that you're providing to your clients? What is that value proposition? Uh, based on our conversations with a lot of dealers, uh, we came out with these some of these bullet points that you can think about. Um, I think the most important one of the client value proposition that you're providing to your clients is really the peace of mind. Uh, the clients trust you with your expertise and your ability to service them on the technologies issues that they have in their home. And that's what they're paying for. That you know, if something goes wrong, if they have questions, um, that you're there to support them. Uh, putting this in a, as a service plan really formalizes the informal support relationship, which actually provides that peace of mind and that expectation that you'll be there to support them. And that it shouldn't be a free service. You have to stay profitable in your business to continue to support them over time. 
Um, there's a few other ones here that we think are pretty important. For example, the quick and non-invasive remote support, the ability for you to respond quickly remotely to any issues and try to fix them remotely is very important to a client because they don't have to wait on hold until you're able to roll out a truck. Um, what we did with some of this like, feedback that we've been receiving from the field is we created an a end-user collateral that now you can use. Um, this is a draft version, but there's a, another version on our website where you can actually fill in information about your company name, uh, your contact information, and be able to modify some of these things. But we narrowed it down to a very simplistic uh, value proposition message to your clients that, hey, really, this is about proactive service, discrete remote management, continuous software updates, and scheduled annual system inspections. These four things we think are the most important pieces of a service plan. Uh, we've definitely seen service plans um, that dealers have been using, which it's sometimes a little bit too complicated. There's too many um, items in there that I don't know if the consumers are going to really find that valuable, but something simplistic, really at the end of the day, they're paying for your expertise and your support. So take a look. It's on our website, and you can definitely use it. It's a PDF file that you can modify. Um, as I mentioned before, we acquired a team called House Logics, and that was a big acquisition. Um, this is also a statement to say that we're continuing to invest in Oversee. Oversee is not a small project that we've been working on. Um, it's a, you know, we've been uh, investing quite a bit, and we're continuing to invest by adding new talent to the organization. And we have a lot in front of us that we're going to go tackle based on your feedback. Um, now um, I'm going to hand it over to Heidi real quick. Uh, she's going to stop recording, and we're going to open it up for, for Q&A.